what a start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'm a clean up this mess Hi everyone, it's Lee here. Welcome to week 28 of Marguerite Miller Challenge. So, more than halfway through the year now. Uh, the prompts for this week are something related to coffee, anything with a bit of pink, something in the shape of a hexagon, a photo or portion of a photo, ink, whatever that means to you, and a, the bonus is a piece of dictionary page. I thought for a change I'd just use a piece of one of my um, jelly prints and I've used this beautiful butterfly stencil from Pianata Studio to cover my page um, but I'm, I'm thinking that I'll tear it up uh, it is on rice paper I believe I'm not sure if it's going to behave for me because it generally will only tear one way and then goes all stupid here, <laughs> like that, down the other way. But that's all right. Gives it a bit of character. Hope you're well and happy, keeping up with all the challenges. If you haven't yet done so, I encourage you to have a look at Junk Journal July. I'm actually doing it this year. Last year I did it, but only did. Um, Instagram photos. This year I'm making a little video every day and um, instead of uh, talking through the videos I'm just speeding them up to show my process and then adding music to it. So they're generally only about six or seven minutes long. So pleasant way to spend a few minutes I think. Have a look and see what you think. Julie's doing it too, but I don't think she's doing it every day. Just whenever she can. So I thought I'd just tear this apart. Piece it back together, but not quite in the way that it was to start with. So it's like a fractured butterfly. I don't know if anybody's noticed, uh, with our July collage challenge, for some reason the hashtag is not creating a playlist so um, if you've done a video and we haven't watched it that's me and Julie haven't seen your video let us know because the hash as I said the hashtags not working so the videos aren't appearing all together and um, we're doing our best to try and see them all so we can watch them for you but uh, yeah they're not playing the game so I'm not really sure what's going on where both of us have tried to work it out uh, but can't really find the answer we're looking for the only thing we could think of was that you're only allowed to have a certain amount of them a year or something and we've used our quota I don't know if anybody is watching and know the answer to that let us know. It's really weird because when people would accidentally put the wrong hashtag, like spell something wrong, or you know, like not uh, format it properly, it used to put their video in a special little playlist by itself. So I'm not sure why all of a sudden it doesn't create the playlist. I did find a couple today that I hadn't seen before. So um, I've put them into my playlist and if I haven't watched one of your videos I will get to it shortly. So um, let me know. Let me know if you've done, got, you know, if that's happened. Uh, just either send us a message or um, put a comment on our videos one of our videos you don't have to do it on to both of them but yeah one or the other okay so for um, coffee which <laughs> got my coffee here and I've just had a sip of it and another one and it's actually this Makona coffee that I get all the time the caramel one so I thought I'd use that I've got some coffee to splatter on 
around the place. Now I better put the lid on that because I am so clumsy, I'll knock it over for sure. I've got some coffee dyed paper. What else have I got? I've got a coffee mug. So I'm going to put a bit of white paint around here and then splatter some coffee on there. I'm just going to break the orange up a little bit, add a little bit of texture. Okay, so one of the other prompts is something that's hexagonal. So I've got my B honeycomb, that's it, honeycomb stencil. I'm going to just, seeing as this is so thick, I'm going to just push some of that through. Look on the sides, and it's like modeling paste. That's better. It's a nice even coat. Um, just see if I can get a bit of that there. I don't paint as much as I used to. I used to be painting all the time. So I never had a problem where my paints would go off before I could get a chance to use them. But now, yeah, seems to be happening all the time. I mainly want to try and cover up this paper as much as I can. I mean the, the page, not the paper. You know, just so that it's a better surface for everything else to go on top of. Okay, that should work there. Probably going to have to um, use the heat gun on that to dry it a bit. Paint some coffee around. It's still warm, I only just made it. I love using coffee in um, my artwork. I wonder if that's going to soak into the paint. I don't think it would because of how th gummy that paint has become. Because paint, this acrylic paint is basically liquid plastic with uh, pigment in it. So I uh, don't think the coffee is going to soak in. Next Wednesday. This is the second last episode of the doodling challenge. Gonna put that one to bed. I don't even know what the prompts are at the moment, but um, I'll put it um, in my description box. I'll put a link to the to the prompts list. Something with a bit of pink in it. I got this picture out of a Daphne's diary. I've also got this flower that I painted with watercolours. Something in the shape of a hexagon. Well, that was my um, sten my stenciling there. Um, a photo or a portion of a photo. At the moment, I haven't got a photo. Uh, I've got my coffee cup. Nine pounds fifty for a coffee mug bees with bees on it. Huh. I didn't realise. So that's something. Um, this, where am I going to get that in there? I might just use part of it. That part. And the bonus is a piece of dictionary page. Now I've got this piece here that I've from you know another project, and it's part of a dictionary page in another language that. Julie sent to me. So I'm gradually using it all up. 
I've only got that much of it left, so that's good. Uh, I'll have that in there, that and that, and I think I'll, I'm not sure whether I'll put that in there. If I do, I'll tear it out. Um, and ink, well, I'll ink later. Anyway, I'm going to work out my composition and come back and show you what it is before I glue it down. Okay, so I think this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to use that. I'm a big fan at the moment of turning my edges over like that. I love the way it looks. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to rough this photo up a little bit. And it is, um, it has been printed on the computer, so it's not the original photo, of course. Unfortunately, her head is right at the top there. I'm just going to be careful I don't squash it. Now, um, talking about Frida, Janine had mentioned in a comment that she would like a Frida video or something. Um, I did put up a poll in my community tab and unfortunately I accidentally um, deleted it because there was two of them there like it was duplicated and I thought oh I'll just get rid of one and when I did that it actually deleted both of them don't need the bottom of that so I lost my results but um, a Frida collage was what was winning with that um, and I haven't forgotten about doing that I'm just a bit uh, preoccupied and snowed under at the moment. I've still got to do another video with my um, my leaf prints that I did on the tissue paper a few weeks ago. If you saw that, um, yeah. So I've got to zhuzh them up, and of course I'm doing my video every day for Junk Journal July. But those ones are quick and easy to make, so they don't take too long. But uh, yeah, quite a few things to be looking on the lookout for. Now, yeah, I'm going to quickly ink around those things with this brush. So I've got walnut stain here. I'll just do it on here. It's going to make us look really old and tatty. And that did the trick. And I'll just ink around the other elements as well. Just roughly most of it's going to be hidden. It um, makes that curly edge stand out more too when it's been inked. Also makes the paper stand out from the background. I might put some words or a word on this. What I'm thinking of doing with the coffee cup and the reason I had it tipped over is I thought I might get my stronger coffee mix out and see if I can get like a drizzle of coffee coming out of it to run down the page. I might even be able to do that with, um, I've got ground espresso distress oxide spray there. I'm wondering if I can do that with that rather than actual coffee. Okay so that's got them inked up. That's coffee dyed paper there. Okay so we want to put that there. I'm just going to stick all this down. And just tip her on a bit of an angle. I don't mind if the edge isn't down, it's fine. Um, now this piece would go here. Like that. that bit goes there, and then this big flower goes over the top.
And the coffee cup is going to go somewhere like that. And this was going there. Put that down before I forget. This is really brittle, this paper. It must have been dried in the oven for um, too long. Put the cup there. Okay, so let's wash that down a little bit to make sure we're aware of I've put the glue that is actually making contact with the page. But I still want it to be curled over. I'm just going to put some on to this bit of acrylic. I suppose this will pass uh, for my ink element too, isn't it? So, I'm just going to paint some in there and then have it coming out. And then splotch there. And it's mixing with the paint and changing colour down here because that's what oxide does. It's not wasted. I haven't got a flat surface so it's not not wiping off. Okay. I'm just going to get my coffee. And carefully paint around the edge of everything, like a bit of a shadow. And the um, paper is picking up some of the coffee too, soaking in, which is good surprise little bonus. I'll just use some of this black ink and go around the edge of the page. Today is the 8th Eighth of July twenty two. This one is a number twenty eight. And I don't know, maybe some black splatters. Oh, I had some washi tape to put on there. Where's it gone? Have this one with some writing on it. Just a couple of random bits of washi. This one actually has quite a bit of stick in it. That, um, I don't think it's going to stick to the wet, the wet page. Mm. Yeah, and I need some more of this. Yeah, that coffee cup I think just needs a little bit of defining. Then I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils to do that. I'm going to use this colour here. It's just a little bit lost. In on the background of the paper that it's actually the, the magazine page that it was printed on. So that's done. Week 28, Marguerite Miller Challenge, Collage Challenge. I was going to put a word on there. A little bit of an inky, inky dinky. Where can I put it there? There. Quite a wet glue that one, so. 
Okay, so something related to coffee. Uh, anything with a bit of pink. Yep, something in the shape of a hexagon. That's my beehive, beeswax thing. Photo, a portion of a photo. Ink. That's my uh, oxide. And a piece of dictionary page, which is the bonus. So. Yes, all finished. Let's have a look, closer look. Put the lid on this black ink before it ends up everywhere. So, here we go. Okay, don't forget to check out Junk Journal July. I'm doing a short video every day. Don't forget to look at Julie's collages. She's also doing Junk Journal July. Um, doodle challenges on Wednesday. And, of course, there'll be a playlist for Marguerite Miller's challenge. So that's it for me for today. And um, we'll see you in the next video. So hooroo from Australia. Bye for now.